Hi guys, this is Cindy and I just thought I'd do a little video showing you um, some things I've been doing. I mean, I haven't been on uh, doing a video or any crafting much in the last month it seems like, but I have been watching a lot of videos and have been going to some uh, thrift stores here and there. So I just thought I'd show you some of the things I've gotten. One thing I got through Etsy, I believe it was Etsy, I might have gone to their website, was I bought a stamp. I'd seen Roxy Creations, uh, Rachel and Roxy Creations, used these stamps from this company, and they're out of Germany. It's hard for me to see what I'm filming because there's a glare. Um, anyway, uh, so I went and looked at some of their stamps, and I found one I liked, and I will show it to you. Let's see, here it is. And you can buy them um, like I did, just the rubber, or you can buy them mounted on, there's two different options, I think, for mounting. But I was thinking, you know, just trying not to spend uh, as much money. Um, thought, you know, it's just a rubber stamp. I think it will work on my acrylic blocks. Except I couldn't find one to test it out. So I just got my glue stick and ran a little glue on the back of it and stuck it onto the back of another rubber stamp a wooden stamp and it stays well enough to stamp it and you know i just didn't spend the extra money so anyway i was going to show you what it looks like it's stamped out it's about the useful family herbal i just liked it because i thought it was just like oh timey looking and it was funny because i'd been thinking oh you just how your mind kind of drifts from one project to another and i was thinking i I guess it was because I'd found a book on herbs at this one thrift store and I was going through and taking out the pictures I wanted and that sort of thing. And I used to grow herbs, not very, you know, just a hobby type thing and I always have liked them. So I thought, I'm going to start doing some more herb pages. Well, it wasn't af too long after that, I found this stamp at a Goodwill, I believe it was, and it's them drying the herbs. So I thought, that's cool. And I, you know, paid me, probably paid a dollar or something for it. And then when I found this one, I thought, okay, definitely going in the right direction. So anyway, I got that from, it was um, that company out of Germany. So that was the packaging. Anyway, that was fun. And I also got this one stamp that has the word dream on it, which I don't necessarily like the little lines on it when you stamp it off, but I don't know why you can't just cut the word out once you stamp it. I can just tear or cut the word dream out. And there's the ones with the herbs stamped. And I kind of got some smudges on it. But anyway, um, so I got those two stamps at Goodwill. And then I ordered the one from this company. And then at the same thrift store, I found those two uh, wooden stamps. They had bundles of lace. And it was a dollar. They have great prices. And just tons of lace in there. And uh, some of it, like this is crocheted lace. from. I can tell it's from a pillowcase because... It's just the size of a pillowcase. And I think, yeah, maybe this one is still round like it came off the pillowcase. So anyway, a lot of this um, stuff. And I've got to start using a lot more of my laces. I have a ton. If you watch the video where I showed the, the just real quick uh, view of my um, room here, you saw I have drawers worth of uh, laces and um, trims. And I got that bag, and then of course I got another bag for the same price at dollar. And it has uh, laces in it as well, some different colors, more crochet. I thought that was pretty cool. Looks kind of like a, a frame. So I can get rid of this tape, stick into it. Get rid of you. Okay, and this one's pretty, I thought. It's fairly delicate though. So anyway, here's some more crochet. So I got that. And this thrift store is just like five minutes from me, so I love it. And I haven't been in, I, I said I'm not gonna go any more often than once a week, but it's been almost two weeks since I've been, so I'm definitely overdue. I found a, um, a little golden book there, and I've been trying to find a couple because I have some wallpapers, uh, kits for sale on my Etsy and I feel like if I include a book with it as a freebie then I can send it through media mail and it's not near as expensive to send that wallpaper. Another thing they had at that uh, thrift store for 25 cents was this fabric which I thought was just gorgeous and in these blocks I thought this would be great for fussy uh, 
not fussy, slow stitching, or just, you know, just cut it out and glue it on a pocket. But I love the blue birds. And then there's the blue jay, all these different birds, and then butterflies as well. So that was definitely the best buy of the day, even over more than the all the, the um, lace. I also found this. It is the Sears Roebuck from 1909. Of course, it's just a reproduction, but it's these great um, pick pages of all these different things you can buy at Sears Roebuck. And um, I like the sizes of the pages here. So it's smaller. I have another one that's a little larger pages. But anyway, um, just thought it'd be good for just different um, whatever junk journals I'm doing. Music or I love the, the old-timey lamps. So anyway, just for a dollar, got that. And then I went to, I think it was Salvation Army. And the town where near where I used to live and got another little golden book so I should be fine now on having enough little golden books to send with the wallpaper they also had this shirt and it was on the dollar rack and then I I don't think that's worth more than a dollar because <laughs> then she started charging me more I said hey it was on a dollar rack she said okay and then I thought oh dear maybe someone put it on the wrong rack so anyway I kind of felt bad but I just thought I like these little um, just embroidered flowers and just to cut out a little one and put on some uh, slow stitching or just decorating a tag or something. So that was a dollar. And then today we went uh, just to see if there's any yard sales around here where we live now and didn't find there was two. And of course it was a rainy day and uh you know, COVID's still a thing, so I'm sure people are hesitant. But anyway, the Boys and Girls Club here was having a sale, and I don't know if they inherited a bunch of stuff when, I guess they were given the old middle school building, and it looked like they were cleaning out all the cafeteria supplies, because it looked like a lot of cafeteria stuff, but then a lot of it was new, too. So I don't know if someone just donated it or what, but anyway, they had, uh, I haven't even opened it yet. Uh, packages of things and I think I paid two dollars I know I paid two dollars for all of this and these look like little bags to me so uh, let's see and since I got four items I'm gonna just say it was 50 cents for all of these since my total was two dollars so you might hear the guitars going in the background. My husband's playing around with his brother. So anyway, those, and they made it a little wide for a junk journal. Well, six, so that's maybe it's not too wide. Cause I was, I was thinking if nothing else, they can be folded in half and used that way. So anyway, uh, all of those. And then these popcorn bags, which I don't know if they're, I'm sure they're meant to be this dark brown, but normally they're white. So, they had a whole bunch of rolls. You can't see my hands, probably. Like, a yard long and about, you know, that big, bigger round rolls of wax paper. <laughs> I really kind of wanted it, but I thought, I am not dealing with that much wax paper. But anyway, here's the popcorn bags. So these are fun. I love the colors, that brown. So either it's aged or it meant was meant to be that way. So I have no idea. Carnival King, Lancaster, PA. So anyway, those are fun. And then I got a box of deli papers, and I they had a lot of boxes of this. I've always wanted these for just the crunchy part to put in the junk journals, but but I had never seen them. They didn't have prints on them, so i um, not sure if this is going to work. Well, they would work. It would be a little narrow, I guess, but it's just a fun crunch, and I would thought, too, making bags out of them or sacks, so I think maybe they would be fairly decent size for a bag, so 
I have, I don't know how many, I think it was 500 in here. I have a few to uh, experiment with. And the last thing I bought there was French fry bags. So, and see, this is what I'm thinking. Someone, oh, I gotta go. I got another brother-in-law coming, so I'll see y'all in a minute. Hey everyone, this is Cindy, and I got interrupted by the doorbell, and that was on Friday. And this is another Friday, a week later. That's how long it's taking me to get back in here. But I was opening this bag of french fry bags. And when I saw them, I thought, oh, what wonderful crunchy pockets for junk journals. And I try not to be too loud, but um, these will be fun to decorate, use as pockets. And I have 500 of them. So I will be sharing these, I'm sure, in the future. So anyway, that was the last thing I got at that Boys and Girls Club. Um, little big sale they called it and another thing I wanted to show you is this and it's not the book let me see if I can get it on I think I've got it in frame pretty close it's big it's not the book this is just a junk journal I made for myself a couple of years ago it's on um, flamingos pink flamingos um, but I wanted to show you the stand it's on it is a cookbook stand a stand at least that's how they advertised it at the um, antique mall where I bought it and um, when I got it home and I really looked at it I thought you know this is not this is a manu not a manufacturing from some factory somewhere this is something somebody's made and they added these um, chain ball chain things to help keep the pages down of course my junk journal was too high so they weren't laying perfectly they were kind of crisscross but anyway I was going to show you this and try not to get these loud things on this glass mat and I asked my brother-in-law that rang the doorbell, I said, is this homemade or is this something, you know, came from a factory? And I said, I know the paint job's not factory, but anyway, he said, oh yeah, someone had made it out of just parts and pieces. Anyway, I just thought it was cool, and it's got this little knob, I'll try not to make it too loud, that you turn, and it tilts this whatever direction you want. So anyway, when I saw it, I thought I had to have it because I've been thinking I've been thinking a long time now about in Oklahoma, Oklahoma City, in the fall, like in November, they have a book sale. Not a book sale? No, it's not a book sale. Well, it's a festival of books, and they have authors there, and I think they have vendors there selling books. I was wanting to go last year just to see what it looks like, to see if there's a possibility of me having a booth selling junk journals. Well, of course, it was canceled because of COVID, so... Um, I haven't even seen it yet, never been. But I was thinking the other day, you know, if I was to, was to get a booth, what would I do? How would I display my books? And I thought, well, I need some book rack thing. So when I saw this cookbook rack, I thought, okay, oops, there it went, sorry. Um, it's perfect. So I went ahead and bought it, and, and hoping that someday we'll get to the Oklahoma Festival of the Books and maybe get to display some of my junk journals. So anyway, um, that's it for now. Um, it's a rainy, very rainy day here, but I did notice there was an estate sale sign at the edge of town, so I'm headed that way to see if it might still be open, and if it is, I'll show you what I got. So, thanks for watching. Bye.